Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a wide angle lens and let me show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so I actually found this lens in my storage that I got here. I've had it for many years now. I bought it to uh, widen up my view on the T3i I had way back in the day. And I used it for a while, but then I quit using it and just packed it away. So now that I have the Panasonic G85, mount is actually the same as what the kit lens is, which is 58 millimeter. So this is a 0.5x so technically we're going from 12 millimeter to around six i guess that would make it I'm not sure exactly that's how it calculates but you can see the distortion here on the tree i don't have it screwed on so it might not be perfect guys but i will screw it on here in a second but you can see that tree right there how it curves but if i take it off the tree is gone obviously and there it is. So it's got a pretty good width to it. So I put it on. And as you can see how much more we have in the frame. So that's pretty cool. This makes it where you can easily vlog better with this thing. So we're about to test that out here in a second. The good part is, is that this is made in Japan. So this is one of the reasons why I decided to buy this one. A lot of glass here. So, But it seems to be pretty good optically. You know, They all have the macro part of it where this piece unscrews from that and you can see the macro so we're going to test out the macro on this thing also for fun so if you wanted to get one of these one the thing you would be looking for is the millimeter right here it says 58 millimeter is the size of this thread here that should go on your lens and thread on and on your lens there should be a also a millimeter written on the lens all right, guys, let me show you the difference in vlogging. So I think this is where it would be the most useful. All right, guys, so I got the camera extended on my hand all the way out. And uh, I am on a tripod, so I, even farther. And I'm on 12 millimeter. As you can see, guys, that's still super close. And now let me put the lens on there and see how that goes. Okay, I already smudged the lens. And as you can see, guys, we got quite a bit better, you know, you know there's more width which is really cool so I think for AC turned on I mean you gotta run away from it so from you know just vlogging purposes it seems to be really good for that because look how much wider everything is around me So yeah, so here I have the wide angle lens on. Let's see if we can take it off. And here we have it off. And that was the difference, guys. So you know, it's quite a bit of difference for vlogging. And this could be, you know, pretty important for some people. 14 to 16 inches away from the camera right now. So I'm pretty close to the lens. And you know, this is all, I can fit all this. You know, if, if I adjust my tripod, to hold the camera even farther you know I can really get out there as you can see let me try to take off the lens at this so you guys can see even if you hold your hand out and you get super wide you know you're still a lot closer than you'd want to be with your hand out and it gets pretty tiring holding the camera like this so Plus, I'm farther away from my mic, getting worse audio. There we go. So normally, the easy way to hold this thing would be about right here. And here we go. And we got a pretty good white shot. So let's take a few sample shots just around the house here uh, with the wide angle lens and then without it.
All right guys, so next we're gonna look at the macro part of it. So I got him unscrewed here. I'm just gonna use this little macro lens here. All right guys, so I'm really close to this little warning sign here. So yeah, so we'll go from this to this. All right, let's see if we can get something interesting here. So we got this little thing hanging here from the tree. And we'll put the macro on. And that's what we get with the macro. Well, it's kind of hard for it to focus. There it goes. Oh, I need to get closer. Okay. I wasn't close enough. As yeah, you can see, guys, it gets pretty intense with the macro. So I'm going to remove it. Okay, the focusing is different also. So, so here's some tree bark. Let's go ahead and bring in the macro. And here is with the macro. Definitely a little, you know, we're closer. All right, guys, so here we have a little spider. If I can focus on him. It's about as close as I can get to him if he doesn't run away here. Let's see if I can slide my macro on there slowly. There we go. And that's the spider with the macro. And now without the macro. Anyways, you get the point. It's a lot farther away. Now he's a lot closer. Alright guys, and this is the wide angle lens slash macro. I would say even for today, it's a pretty fun thing to do. Now one thing to consider is that these are pretty heavy here. So, you know, it's kind of going to give you some weight up front. If you don't mind the extra weight, this could be a pretty good option. And obviously if you don't mind the distortion, the barrel distortion, you know, they will have that. But if you need that extra width, especially for vlogging, you know, this could be a good answer. You know, until you can afford that fancy lens, this might be a pretty good option overall. So. so yeah, guys, overall, thumbs up for this thing. I haven't used it in a while, but I think I might have some fun with it. So if, you, if you're interested in something like this, I'll leave some links in the description. Um, the only thing to remember is make sure you get the right thread size for yours. Don't go anywhere less than 0.5 because then you'll have some crazy distortion. Anything over 0.5, maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.7 is good, 0.8. All right, guys, so that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos on this channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.